everybody. Please come to the top of the mat. Heels and toes stretching together. Stomach sucking, spine erect. Gently roll your shoulders back. Chin away from your chest. Eyes gently closed. Shift your eye gaze to the third eye, the Jyotishmati, the light of awareness within. Take a deep breath and exhale. Make sure that your weight is evenly spread across the toes. Gently press, press into your big toes. We'll begin today's practice with the opening chant. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahana Ubunaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejas Vinavati Tamastu Mahavit Pishavahai Om Shanti 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 <coughs> Welcome to the to the YC yoga class. So as we said in our group, this is a an intermediate class. So what we're going to do is we're going to proceed with uh, some of the intermediate postures. We'll start with uh, some of the advanced pranayama breathing, and then the standing series, and then the floor series, and we're going to end with some of the advanced practices such as nauli and the kriya meditation. Let's begin today's session with advanced pranayama. So this is a synchronized breathing movement where we try to expand the lungs using our neck movement and the elbows. I'm going to do one demonstration and follow along. Gently uh, bring your hands together, fingers interlaced, elbows together. Bring your elbows under your chin. Gently press your chin into the elbows, stomach sucking. Now from this position, while inhaling, we bring our elbows up, chin down, like this. We extend the ribcage. So using our elbows, we are trying to expand the lung capacity. And once we are here, while exhaling, open your mouth and then gently push your fingers into the chin, bring your head to the back wall, and bring your elbows in front of your chest together and in front of your chest. So this is one posture where we are actually doing the neck movement, opening the lung capacity and, and also synchronizing the breath. And we do it with the ujjayi. Let's do it about six times. Bring your elbows together, press them under the chin, stomach sati, ready begin, inhale. Now open your mouth, pass on, exhale. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. 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 Hold. Exhale. Exhale completely so that we can allow the fresh air to come in. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. Mm -hmm. 
Exhale. Release. Now we're going to do standing postures. We'll start with sun salutations flow. And one thing that we want to make sure is we do the sun salutation with synchronized breathing. We're going to do the first sun salutation, and then we're going to do a flow. Everybody, after the last of the mat, heels mm -hmm. stretching together. We we'll do mm -hmm. Eight in the class in the pocket. Can I? No. Exhale. Elbows down. Inhale, back bend. When you're doing the back bend, the first thing is keep your elbows straight. Fix your eye gaze to the, the top of the fingers. And make sure that you're bending all the way, engaging from the thighs and the waist, and you bend backwards. Exhale, follow the breath, come up the pain. Inhale, half lunge to the right. Knees wide, knees down, toes pointed, look up. Hold your breath, get into plank, look straight. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin down, and glide into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, half lunge to the left. Left knee down, left toes pointed, stretch up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, come to the center. And from here, we do a half moon. Move to the right. Hips to the left, exhale to the center, move to the left, hips to the right, exhale to the center, hands to the center, hands for each side. So this is what we refer to as the sun moon flow. We combine uh, sun salutation with a half moon where we are moving the spine left to the right so that you're moving the spine in all different directions. Let's do one more time. Inhale, hands to the center of the chest. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, back bend. Lock your eye gaze to the tip of the fingers and bend, engaging your thighs, waist, and back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, to the half lunge to the left, left knee down, left toes pointed, look up. Is chest chin down and then glide into inhale cobra. Exhale downward dog. Inhale half lunge to the right. Left right knee down, right toes pointed, look up. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, back bend. Open to the center. Inhale to the right, half moon. Exhale to the center. Inhale to the left, half moon. Exhale to the center. So now let's do one more set. Here we are going to introduce more things into the sun, sun moon flow. Inhale, hands to the center. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, half lunge to the right. Right knee down, right to the front of the top. Hold your breath, get into plank. And from here, bring your elbow down and do the side plank.
And let's do it to the other side. And get into the plank and your elbows and we'll do the mountain kicks. Inhale, exhale, kick to the corner, inhale, <coughs> and get back to the plank and we'll do the, the side wings, lift one hand up to the other side. You from here, come to the tabletop. Let's do the cat and cow. Inhale to the cow. Exhale. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now come to the stanga. Inhale to the cobra. Exhale downward dog. Inhale half lunge to the left. Exhale to the forward bend. Inhale to the back bend. Exhale to the center, inhale to the right, exhale to the center, inhale to the left, exhale to the center, and slowly the side. So this is one of the advanced flows where we are doing multiple planks. Let's do it one more time. Inhale to the center. Exhale, elbows down. Inhale to the back bend. Exhale, forward bend. Inhale, half lens to the left. Left knee down. Left toes pointed. Look up. Hold your breath. Get into plank. Now bring your left elbow down and do the side plank. Now let's do the other side. Now do the elbow plank and do, do the mountain kick. Inhale. <clears throat> Inhale. <clears throat> Inhale. Kick. Inhale. Kick. <clears throat> Come back to the elbow plank. And let's do the side wings. <clears throat> Come to the tabletop. Inhale to the cow. Exhale to the cat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And now let's continue with Astanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Dog. Inhale, Half Lunge to the right. Right knee down, right toes pointed, stretch up. Exhale, Forward Bend. Inhale, Back Bend.
exhale to the center, inhale to the right, exhale to the center, inhale to the left, exhale to the center, and to the side. So that's an advanced allocation flow. The awkward pose, strengthening our legs. Bring your right foot about six inches away from your left foot. Make sure that your heels and toes are pointed in straight line. Bring your two hands parallel to the ground. Fingers twist, elbows straight. And then from here, gently sit down. Sit down until your thighs become parallel to the ground. Your, your hands, your knees and thighs and feet are in one straight line. And gently stand up, keep your hands there. Now stand down your tippy toes. Stand down your tippy toes. And slowly keep your heels raised, keeping your spine straight. Sit down. And up, keep your hands there. Now gently lift your heels, bring your two knees together, keep your spine straight and slowly come down until you sit down. From the side, you look like a perfect box. And slowly lift up and release. Bring your feet, feet together. Now let's do the Eagle Garudasana, opens up the six major joints in your body. Lift your two hands up. Bring your right elbow under your left elbow. Interlace your fingers. Pull your elbows down. Opening up the shoulders. Suck your stomach down. And sit down. Now, while balancing on your left leg, lift your right leg and twist it like a rope around your left calf. Make sure that your right toe is pointed down, looking straight. Release. Now let's do the other side. Lift your hands up. This time bring your left elbow under your right elbow. Interlace your fingers or in the Namaskar Mudra. Pull your elbows down. Suck your stomach in. Sit down. Now this time, while balancing on your right leg, lift your left leg as high as possible and twist it around your right arm. Release. Now take a deep breath and exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Now let's do the balancing posture. This is the, one of our favorite postures at the YEC. This improves as your balance. Balance means it improves mind's concentration skills. And it also is a cardio and it also builds strength. Everybody, come to the top of the mat. Heels and toes touching together. 
the more you are aware of your toes, it improves the focus of the mind. Bring your right hand in front of you, palm facing up, bring it to the side. Grab your right foot from inside at the ankle. At the ankle from the inside. Make sure that your right toes are pointed. Shift your left hand up, stretch up, reach the sky. Now inhale and kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Look straight through your middle fingernail. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Release. I will do it on the other side. Bring your left hand up, palm facing. Left hand in front of you, palm facing up. Bring it to the side. Grab your left foot at the ankle from inside. Make sure that your left toes are pointed. Lift your right hand up. Elbow straight, fingers squish, reach the sky. Now while taking the deep breath, inhale and kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Look straight to your middle finger. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Kick and stretch. Release. We'll do it one more time. Make sure that your standing foot is firmly rooted. If the, if the leg is bent, that means we don't have a, a stable foundation. Stay up, and then once that is stable, that's when we do the supra flow. Let's do it the other side. Right hand in front of you, bring it to the side. Grab your right foot at the ankle, right toes pointed. There are a lot of detail. Focus on your toes and where you are kicking, where you are engaging. Bring your two knees together, left knees straight and firmly rooted. Stretch your left hand up, reach the sky, and kick and stretch. 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 Release. Now let's do it on the other side. Left hand in front of you, bring it to the side. Grab the left foot at the ankle, left toes pointed, two knees together. Right leg firmly rooted. Bring your right hand up. Stretch up, reach the sky. Now while inhaling, kick and stretch. 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 Kick and switch. Kick and switch. Now come to the back of the mat. We'll do the standing balancing stick, Tula and Asana. Put your two hands up, interlace your fingers, elbow straight, glue your palms together, release your index finger, take a big step. Inhale, and while exhaling, come down. Lift your left leg up, left toes pointed, look straight through your hands. You look like a perfect T. Release. Now let's do it on the other side. Inhale. Two hands up, glue your palms together, elbow straight. Release your index finger. Inhale. Take a big step. And while exhaling, come down. Look straight through the fingers. Right toes pointed. Come down. Lift. Look like a perfect T. Release. Okay. 
So let's do the, the cardio and strengthening posture before we do that. The triangle posture, take a deep breath. One more time, inhale. Take a big step, about four feet minimum. Bring the two hands parallel to the ground. Elbow straight, fingers squished, look straight. Turn your right foot to the right, sit down. Keep your spine straight. And gently rotate your right arm, right arm down, left hand up. Shift your ideas to the left hand fingers. And then gently rest your right arm down. Bring your left hand over your ear. Make sure that your entire left side is in one straight line. Come back to the center. Now let's do it by the side. Turn your left foot to the left. Sit down. Look straight. Keep your spine straight. Left hand down, right hand up. Shift your ideas to the right hand. Left palm gently rested on the on the floor, bring your right hand over your right ear. And release. Come back to the center. Sit down. Now let's come to the back of the mat. We'll do the standing forward head to knee. This opens up the back of your uh, spine, uh, massaging your kidneys for the optimum kidney's health. Everybody lift your hands together, interlace your finger, release your index finger. Now take a big step. Make sure that your two heels are in one line. And then tuck your chin to the chest and slowly come down. Slowly come down until your forehead touches the knee. It's okay to bend your knee if you want. But eventually, once your forehead touches the knee, try to push your knee back. And slowly come back. And turn 180 degrees. Again, tuck your chin to massage your thyroid and slowly come down until your forehead touches the knee. Slowly lift up. Please. Let's do the final posture in the standing series. The three posture, Rukshasana. Heels and toes touching together. Lift your right leg, right foot as high as possible. Press into your left thigh. Make sure that your left leg is firmly rooted. Bring your two hands to the center of the chest. Stomach sucked in. Lift your two hands up.
fix your eye gaze at one point in front of you. This is the deepest concentration posture. All these asanas are designed to harness the power of the mind, the focus mind. If you can, try to close your eyes. Release. And let's do it on the other side. Balance firmly on your right leg. Press into your right big toe. Lift your left leg as high as possible. Press into your right thigh. Fix your eye gaze at one point in front of you. Bring your two hands to the center of the chest. Lift your two hands up. Elbow straight. Keep your eye gaze locked at one point in front of you. And if you're comfortable, and when you're firmly rooted, gently close your eyes, but still looking at the same eye gaze. Release. You try one advanced posture, which is the variation of the tree, which is a toe stand, and follow gently step by step, and only go about 120%. Don't focus on the end expression. Lift your right leg. This time, fold your right knee, bring it the right foot around your left thigh. While keeping your stomach thin, come down and touch the floor. Once you touch the floor with your hands, lift your left heel and slowly come down and sit. Sit on your left foot. Balance on your tip of the fingers on both sides. Once you're comfortable, bring your left hand to the center of the chest. You're still able to balance, fix your eye gaze at one point in front of you. Bring your right hand in front of you. And slowly come back to be back into the posture. Now let's do it on the other side. Just a balance on your right leg. Fold your left knee. Bring it on. Bring your left foot on your right thigh. Stomach sucked in. Slowly come down. And balance on the floor with your fingertips. Now lift your right heel up. And then slowly come down. Sit down. Balance on your fingertips. Bring your left hand to the center of the chest. Keep your right gaze fixed. Bring your right hand to the center of the chest. Get slow, come back. The way you went into the posture. So this concludes our standing series. Everybody lie down in Shavasana. Lie down on your back. Heels touching together, toes fall apart. Hands by the side, palm facing the sky. Chin away from your chest. Take a deep ujjayi and glance, release. Inhale. Release. Now we'll start the floor series with Pavan Muktasana. Keep your left leg nice, relaxed on the floor. Grab your right leg two inches below the right knee with your interlaced fingers. Pull your right knee towards your right shoulders, avoiding the ribcage. Tuck your chin to the chest. 
to stimulate your thyroid. Release. Now let's do it on the other side. Keep your right leg relaxed on the floor. Grab your left knee. So left leg two inches below the knee with your interlaced fingers. Pull your left knee towards your left shoulder. Tuck your chin to the chest. And three deep breaths. Release. Now this time, bring your two legs together. Grab your two elbows over your knees or wherever you can. Bring your waist up. Tuck your chin to the chest. And three deep breaths. From here, roll up and down. Like now. Now we'll do the Shivananda sequence where we go from the chakras. We're not going to do the headstand today, but we'll practice in the subsequent classes. So we'll start with shoulder stand, Sarvabhujangasana, and then plow and uh, Maschasana, followed by Paschimottasana. If you will bring your two legs together, toes pointed. Bring your two legs perpendicular to the floor. Bring them to the back. And lift up. Lift up and kick your legs away from your head. Kick, kick, kick and slowly come back the way you went into the posture and try to come into flow. Interlace your fingers if you can. Release your index finger. And slowly come back and bring your one vertebrae down at the same time. Come back to the half shoulder stand, legs perpendicular to the floor. And release slowly. And from here, let's do. Chakrasana. If you cannot do the V pose, you can also do the bridge. Bring your two feet closer to your hips. Make sure that your feet 
heels and toes are pointed straight. Now bring your hands by your side, palm facing down. Now first, engage in your thighs. Kick and lift, kick and lift into Chakrasana. You're more kicking, kicking up with your waist and legs and then curve. Make sure that your head is freely hanging. Release, back to the went in. Bring your two legs together, toes pointed. Now bring your two hands under your hips. Now press your elbows into the ground and arch your upper body. Gently touch your top of the head to the mat to most chasm. Please. Now slowly using your elbows, lift yourself up. We'll do the Paschimottasana. We'll first do half Paschimottasana, where you keep your right leg, left leg in front of you. Press your left foot into the right, sorry, right foot into your left thigh. Take a 90 degree angle, inhale, exhale, grab your left foot two inches below the toes, inhale, stretch up, exhale, elbows down, forehead down. Inhale, exhale. So do it on the other side. Stretch your right leg forward. This time flex the toes. This is pointed toes, this is flex the toes. Press your left foot into right thigh. Inhale. Exhale. And grab your right foot two inches below the toes. Inhale. Exhale, elbows down, forehead down. Inhale, exhale. Now this time, we're gonna do the full Paschimottasana. If you want, you can also lie down and try to dab your foot, flex your toes. Inhale, exhale and grab your two big toes. Suck your stomach in and try to gently pull your big toes towards you. And this is a deepest forward bend. It's not about touching the forehead to the knees, but it's about forward bend from the root of the, from the base of the spine all the way forward. Inhale, stretch forward. Exhale, elbows down, look straight, elongate the spine, along the legs. Someday the elbows are gonna to touch the floor. And look straight. Look straight. Inhale. Exhale. Now we'll try to do a reverse plank. Inhale. The side, inhale. I will do the Titli Asana. Titli Asana, which is the, the butterfly posture. 
bring your two feet together, the soles touching, and then flap your legs like two butterfly wings. And then keep your spine straight, grab your two big toes, press your elbows into your thighs. Inhale, exhale and gently curve the upper spine. Try to touch your forehead to the toes, to the fingers. Try to press your thighs into the ground. Release. Now we'll do the spine strengthening series. Lie down on your stomach. We work on lower spine, upper spine, middle spine, the whole spine. Glue your two legs together, toes pointed, like you only have one cobra there. Align your hands by your side so that the top of the fingers are aligned perfectly with the top of the shoulders. They're not forward, they're not back. Align the top of the fingers with the top of the shoulders. Always elbows touching your body. Elbows touching the body, elbows down. Now slowly by inhaling, stretch your spine from the root of the spine. Lift your head like a cobra head. Look up, look back. Look up, look back. Look up, look back. Look up, look back. Press your elbows down, look up. Look back, look up, look back. Feel the deep stretch in the lower spine and slowly come up. Now we'll work on the upper spine. Roll side to side, bring your hands under the body. Palms facing down. Now gently bring your left ear onto the mat, look to the right. Now keep your left leg relaxed on the floor, lift your right leg up to half Salabhasana. And see if you can gaze the right foot. Release. Now let's do it to the other side. Bring your right ear onto the mat, look to the left. Now this time, keep your right leg relaxed on the floor, lift your left leg up. Try to gaze your left foot. Release. Now bring your head to the center. Keep your chin nicely locked to the mat. Don't let your chin come off the mat. Glue your two legs together. If you want, you can also kiss the mat. And gently lift your both legs up. If you want, you can kick. Gently release, release your hands. Let's do Shavasan. Left ear on the mat, left to the right. Come back to the center. Now let's work on the middle spine. Here, 
proclaim worship. <coughs> Bring your two hands to the side, like two wings. Glue your two legs together. Now inhale, lift up and take off like a Boeing 777. Lift your upper body up, lift your legs up, keep flying. And slowly come down. Let's do the last posture in the spine strengthening series. Dhanurasana. Grab your right foot with your right hand, left foot with your left hand, two inches below the teeth, toes. Keep your elbow straight. Make sure that your toes are pointed. And once again, using your upper thigh, kick and lift. Kick and lift. Kick and lift. Kick and lift. Kick, lift. Kick, lift. Release. Shavasan, right here onto the mat, look to the left. Now gently with the hands, lift up and sit in Vajrasana. We'll do the, the chain posture. Sit in Vajrasana. Keep your spine straight. Balakumrasana. Hands up. Elbow straight. Spine straight, make sure that your hips are always glued to the heels. Hips never come to the heels. And like the balancing stick, come down, looking straight to your hands. Stretch forward, forehead touches the mat first, and stretch up. And stretch forward and backward. With the hips on the heels, the full spine stretching, the fresh oxygenated blood rushes through the brain, clearing any fog. And gently come up. Release. We'll do one deepest forward bend, back bend, and a half point split, half spine twist to close the posture. Stand on your knees, about four inches apart. Bring your two hands parallel to the ground. Bring, turn your right hand down, and then grab your right heel. Left hand down, grab your left heel. Now engage your thighs, push forward, lift up and gently release your neck, push forward, lift up, push, lift, push, lift, push, lift, push, lift, push, lift. Come back the way you went into the posture. Sitting Vajrasana. Now we'll do the counter to the deepest back bend with the tortoise, Kurmasana. Suck your stomach in, tuck your chin to the chest, grab your two heels, elbow straight, and slowly curve forward. Pull your heels, straighten your elbows. Until your forehead touches the Pull your heels, 
stretch the spine. Slowly come back the way you went into the posture. Now the last posture for today is the Ardhamasyedrasana, the posture that helps regulate the insulin, massaging the pancreas and other digestive organs. Cross your left leg. Make sure that your left toes are pointed. Bring your right leg over your left knee. Make sure that your weight is evenly distributed on your two hips. Stretch your left hand up. Bring it over your right leg. You grab your left knee. Look straight. And slowly inhale. Turn to the right. And look over your right shoulder. Release. And let's do it on the other side. Cross your right leg, right toes pointed. Bring your left leg over your right knee. Stretch your right hand up. Bring it over your left leg. Grab your right knee. Inhale, stretch up, keep your spine straight. Look to the left. And look over your left shoulder. Release. Now that concludes the posture. Let's practice. Now we gently stand up. Keep your legs slightly apart. Bring your hands on your knees. And what we're going to do is we're going to first exhale all your air out and then suck your stomach in and then try to rotate um, with that empty lungs and the stomach, suck your stomach in and then try to move the stomach left to right, right to left and then clockwise and anti-clockwise like this. <sighs> You can suck your stomach in. Ready, begin. That's an advanced posture, but it actually strengthens the stomach muscle and strengthens the core. Now let's do the final Kriya meditation. Sit down comfortably. Stack your two heels against each other. We'll start with Kapala Bhati, which is the belly breathing. We basically suck this. We just press the belly against the back. And focus only on the exhale. Inhale happens automatically. Ready, begin.
Exhale completely. Suck your stomach in. Extend your rib cage. Hold your breath. Inhale. Stretch your two hands up. Rotate your fingers and the wrist. Close your eyes, shift your eyes to the third eye. Feel the nice relaxation. We work so hard to get here. Feel the prana energizing and relaxing every cell in your body. Exhale. Bring your two hands to the center. We'll try to enter into meditation. Inhale and shift your eye gaze to the third eye and focus on one sound in the room. Release. We'll do it one more time. This time we'll combine the couple of with the alternate nostril breathing. This is a couple of kriya. Ready to begin. Exhale completely, suck your stomach in, extend your rib cage. Exhale, inhale, stretch your hands, rotate your wrists, feel the fresh prana covering every cell in your body. Exhale. Inhale, shift your ideas to the third eye. And this time, focus your mind on one sound outside the room, only one sound. Exhale. We'll chant Om three times. Ah, Om. Ah, shift your awareness to the navel. Oh, shift your attention to the center of the chest. Mm, to the center of the eyebrows. The trinity, the Brahma, Vishnu, Shiva energies within. Take a deep breath. Ah. In here.
Last one. Gently lie down in Shavasana, no relaxation. And gently scan the body from the toes to the top of the head to shift our awareness to the home that we just chanted. Simply, mentally, and say Om as we gently say the name of a body part. The right toes, ankle, right shin, right knee, right thigh. The whole right leg. Left toes. Left foot. Left ankle. Shin. Left knee. Left thigh. The whole left. Waist, stomach, abdomen, lower back, right side of the chest, left side of the chest, center of the chest, right hand, Right hand palm, right hand fingers, right shoulder, left hand, left hand palm, left hand fingers, left shoulder, the throat, the neck, the face, right cheek, left cheek, right eye, left eye, center of the eyebrows, forehead, Back of the head, top of the head, now from the top of the head to the toes, take a deep breath and mentally say, Oh, and relax. One more time.
turn your phone to the right. Keep your eyes closed. And so we use your elbows to set yourself up. Keep your eyes closed. Let's listen to one of Vivekananda's panchakam. Anitya drishyeshu vivechya nityam tasmin samalata Yasmalilaya Vineka Vairagya Vishuddha Chittam Yosau Vivekinaha Tamasa Namami Yosau Vivekinaha Tamasa the one that who always had that discriminative knowledge in the perception to see the oneness in me, the one with that discriminative perception, with the purest of the mind, is Vivekananda. That such Vivekananda is all of us. With this wonderful thought, Let's end with the closing chant. Follow along with me. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pashantu Mahakasthi Dukkha Bhagbhavi Om Shanti 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 we wish everybody to be happy. We wish everybody to be free of illness and sorrow. We wish everybody to see only auspicious things and let there be peace everywhere. With this wonderful thoughts, rub your palms, generate a fire and love of knowledge. Cut your eyes to transmit this knowledge, to see this to get the right vision, to see the things the way they are. They be under the arm with each other. And slowly, with a bright smile, at your own pace, open your eyes. Thank you all for sharing your yoga practice with me. Namaskaram. I see that Chakri Garu. Uh, Namaskar Andy. Uh, and uh, I don't know if this, if this is your first time joining us. Uh, 